Another test you can try with the damp plastic soil is to make it into a small disc. We sometimes call this the biscuit test or in France uh, a galette. It's a little piece of plastic pipe approximately 10 millimetres wide and I'm going to use it as a mould. So I press the clay soil or this the sticky soil, still not sure how much clay is in here, into the end of the pipe like so and flatten it off. Check it's nice and full. You will need to remove any larger stones to actually do this. Um, so it's just the finer part of the mix and then we leave this to dry. So here's some samples that we made before using the, the pipe, different kinds of subsoil. Already I'm going to have an indication of shrinkage with this test. It, well, I can't measure it very easily, but I can see from the, the way it shrinks back from the pipe, whether how much it's shrinking roughly. But more importantly, at this point, I'm going to try and break these little dry discs and they'll give me a sense of clay content and, and the type of clay and how strong it is. So I actually can't break this sample. Um, I've got very familiar with doing these tests and I know that this this particular clay is quite strong. Yes, just about broke it. So I know there's a lot of clay, of strong clay in this sample. This one, the red sample we just made, and a little easier to break, but still pretty strong. Some people also like to try scratching these and using tools to see if they can break them down. Just to give you an indication of a, a weak one, this one I know doesn't have much clay in it at all, and it's pretty easy to break. So I'm probably going to be avoiding this soil to do any further tests. But the other ones that are clay rich are worth further investigation.